You might have heard by now, uh, but to do our thing, you know, to do our part during this pandemic, The Daily Show is not going to have a live studio audience starting from Monday, which means you guys in the audience tonight are the last ones to get coronavirus from us. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to lie, it's going to be tough without an audience. You know, you guys are the heart and soul of the show. But, but before you go, I just wanted to dedicate a special little something to you and all those audience members who've joined us before here in New York to help us make every episode of The Daily Show. This one goes out to you. All right, let me just get the thing. E e I never know what they're doing when they do that, but I think it looks, it looks and it feels professional. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Five, six, seven, eight. Is it still a joke if no one laughs at it? Am I still a host if I'm just standing in an empty room? Audience, this is for you. Time for social distancing. Pack your things and go. Just know that I'll be waiting for you to come back to the show. To the ones who stood and the ones who clapped I'll even give a shout out to the haters who just sat there and never laughed it's the ones who cheered and the people who love to wave I'll even miss those ones who seem to get all the jokes too late you know I'm even gonna miss those people who forgot to turn off their phones during the show it would mess me up and spoil jokes but you know, I liked hearing the ringtones, it was so retro. <laughs> I'm gonna miss those guys who love to explain the it's show. Funny because Trump is dumb. The people with the weird ass laughs are the ones I'll miss the most. <laughs> the guy who came to kill me, but then I want him over with my jokes. The fans who came from Africa and just wanted to hear about home. Tell them about Uganda. No one knows about Uganda, man, but I'm gonna miss you. It's time for quarantine, y'all. I can't wait till this is over and the virus is beat and all your asses are back in those seats. I love you guys. Now that's what you need from a president. Yeah, the country's struggling and people are dying everywhere because of ineptitude, but at the end of the day, you can shower two minutes quicker because that soap comes right off. My man. Now, because this law was about conserving water, I wouldn't be shocked if Joe Biden reverses this Trump shower policy. And I don't know if I agree with it, but I think it would be funny if Joe Biden put the water restrictors back on while Trump is in the shower. That would be amazing. I said certified free, seven days a week, what? Ah! What, what happened to the water? Where's the water? I can't be wet ass without... So, I've been inspired by Italy and I figure, like, why don't we do this in New York? We're also neighbors out here. Let's, let's, let's be together, you know? I can show you the world Shining, shimmer. Shut the fuck up!
in the world. There's no country in the world where you should do a remix for the There's no one in England running around like, God save, I can't save the Queen. Remix, I say, God save the Queen. I say it with sex, I say it with sex. Yeah, yeah.